Mr. O'Brien is one of the newest teachers at Freeport High School. Here are some things about him. Uh, Tech is definitely different. Uh, you know, obviously, being in a state where there's not really a, a huge city that kind of dictates and kind of controls what, what the state does is, is a little different compared to being in Illinois, which is how Chicago is. But I uh, grew up in Louisville, grew up in the city, and uh, obviously a big Louisville fan and love being in the city and love living there. And then uh, my dad's job moved us out to Richmond, which is a small town, very similar to Freeport. Um, and, you know, from there, it was just ready to kind of get out of, get out of the house and move and experience something different. So age 18, I decided to go to school seven, hours, seven and a half hours away from my mom and dad and, uh, you know, played college basketball at Rockford University and graduated there with my bachelor's and started my coaching career in Rockford. And, uh, you know, it was definitely different, but I've enjoyed every moment of being up here since year 12 for me being, being away from Kentucky. So uh, I do miss it, especially my family and stuff that still lives there. But uh, the way that my path kind of went for me kind of ended up exactly the way that I was, the way I wanted it and what I was looking for. So, um, you know, once I started coaching, uh, started started getting into travel basketball and, and met some really good people, really good families from Freeport. Um, and I'll never forget it. I was sitting outside of a hotel in, in Des Moines, Iowa with, with Mr. Sellers. And Mr. Sellers and I were sitting there talking about basketball and coaching. And he just asked me if I ever thought about coming to Freeport and never thought about it at the time. So we talked about it. He kind of talked me into looking into it, looked into it. And now here I sit four years later. It's my fourth year being here in the district. And kind of made it a home for myself at this point, so. Uh, so who, who inspires me? Uh, without a doubt, it, it, it was my dad from the get-go. Um, man, worked up, woke up every day at 4 a.m., ready to go to work, started working that early, got himself going that early. And then the days where I'd see him, not start working to about 6, 7 o'clock. So um, he inspired me to, to have that work ethic, to, to have that drive, to want to want to compete and want to outwork whoever it is that I'm that I'm competing against or I'm working with or working against. Um, and kind of taking those values and into what I do today and hopefully as a coach and as a teacher, to be able to push those same values and ideas onto the kids that I get to work with. Um, outside of that person that, that helped me and I kind of pu pushed me to be a teacher. Um, I, it would have to, it'd have to be my college professor, uh, Tammy Sheik. She, she saw some stuff in me when I was an undergrad as a freshman, sophomore that I didn't see in myself and as a teacher that, that never gave up on me. I was very hard headed my first two years in college, especially when you get to that point where like, Oh, I get to go to class when I feel like it and all that. But, um, she stuck with me. She stayed on me. Even, even when I, when I graduated my bachelor's and I didn't, didn't complete the the teaching program and I decided to step out of it. She, she still encouraged me to still come back and do it. Um, and, you know, when I went back to get my master's and, and complete my teaching degree, she was, it was just the look on her face was enough for me to know that I was making the right decision. Um, and being a teacher, it makes it easier to coach. You're able to be in the building with your kids, um, keep an eye on them for one. But the biggest thing is for them to see you in a different setting as a teacher and a coach. There, there's two totally different settings. So, uh, that way, that relationship that, that we have, that I have with, with my girls that I do coach and, that, and the kids that I do teach is, is separated between the two the two things that we do. So um, I can't thank Professor Sheik enough for, for inspiring me and, and pushing me to want to be a teacher. And, and so I wouldn't be here doing what I do without her. I enjoy being at the high school now a whole lot more than I did at Carl Sandberg. Like I said, being in, I said earlier, being in the school with my kids that, you know, they get the opportunity to see me in a different setting outside of just coaching. Um, and on top of that too, it's just, it's also nice like to come to work and be able to come to work, do your job and go home or let's see without a lot of people being in your, in your personal business or what you have going on in your personal life. So um, it's been very enjoyable for the transition from Carl Sandberg to here. Um, at the end of the day, I enjoy coming to work every day, you know, being able to conversate with kids and, you know, have our jokes and have our laughs or it makes the job as, as enjoyable as I possibly can. And I'm able to do that here at the high school. So, you know, that's the that's the big advantage of being here compared to Sandberg. But outside of that, I mean, I, I enjoy doing strength and conditioning just because as, as an athlete, as a former athlete to, you know, a former college athlete, I know the importance of what strength and conditioning can do for, for somebody where, 
um, you know, you're able to kind of build yourself up with stamina and endurance and, you know, for a longevity of how long a season can be. Um, they can be. They can be grueling. They can be long, uh, tough seasons. So at the end of the day, that, you know, being able to teach that and coach that and uh, help kids find that, that that drive and that want for it and see the results that they want to come out of it is, is the more of the, the overall win for myself personally. But I enjoy it. It's fun. I like watching kids work and work hard, and um, that's why I enjoy it.